guys, welcome to another day of Vlogmas. I don't actually know what day it is for you, but it's the 4th today. <laughs> yeah, it's the 4th. So, today is going to be a very, like, homely day. I've got a few different bits that I want to film for Vlogmas and for Reels. Um, like, various little things here, there and everywhere. And I'm also starting to buy for, like, my Christmas, like, outfit idea kind of vibes. Because I want to do a couple of different like Christmas day outfit things for you Just because I know everyone dresses differently on Christmas day Some people like to be really casual, some people like to be in like festive things Some people like to be dressed up, like there's various different way, like, ways and things and whatever So I'm going to do a couple Annoyingly, the construction near my house Which I feel like in London, if you live in, to be fair, pretty much anywhere Especially like in the outer circles like zone two and three where so many buildings are being made There's constant high-rises going up and there's actually a high-rise going up like literally about I mean, it's not next to my flat, but like I can see it and Basically uh, the wind must be blowing in this direction today because normally with the windows shut I can't hear it and today it's really bloody loud and it's starting to drive me insane so I'm hoping that when I'm filming and stuff you won't be able to hear it, but who knows you might i don't know you might be able to i'm not sure but we're gonna just we're gonna go with it we're gonna see if we can just make it work and just i don't know but i'm gonna do my hair quickly and put some tan on because i haven't tanned in about a week and my tan's like it's come off but it's also done that thing where it goes like weird and patchy so i quickly washed it all off last night in the bath and i'm gonna put on some more now so the one that i've been using recently and really liking is the um tanologist one so it's the express self tan mousse in dark i try tans all the time so the vita liberata one i really really like in summer because i think it's a really nice like soft uh quite natural looking tan but in winter i think it's a bit too i think i don't know i think it's a bit light i have used isle of paradise in the past for no reason at all, I'm not using it at the moment. I do really like it and it is one of my favourites, but I just wanted to try something different. And when I was in the shop, I thought I'm going to just try this one and see what I think. Just so I've like tried them all and I know that the one I'm using is the one that I really like the most. Um, another one that I use as well sometimes is the, I can't find the actual tan in my cupboard. It's like lost, but it's the Coco Brown one. So they kindly gifted me some products so i've got the self tan eraser they've sent me like body scrub and all that kind of thing and they also sent me the medium dark and ultra dark tans so i've been trying the dark one it's like a you know like the foam mousse um really, really like it but i'm gonna give this one a go today because this one goes on clear and if i'm changing loads and stuff throughout the day it doesn't transfer onto all my clothes whereas the other ones i just not that they do do it but I just worry a little bit. So this is what I'm popping on, but I really, really enjoy this one. I think it's really great. And like I said, I use dark, just preference. I prefer to be really dark and tanned. Like I'm, I'm quite a pale person, which I don't think many people actually know because I've never been pale. I think I've tanned for like over 10 years of my life. So no one ever actually sees me in my natural color, but I'm very, very pale and I don't like it. So on with the tan. Can you hear what I mean yet? If I go stand by the window, you'll hear it. They're not even doing anything that noisy at the moment. It's going to be a long couple of months until they're a lot higher. But it's just annoying. This is, if you remember my vlogs in Canary Wharf, I had the same kind of thing. Like there was construction going on like right outside my window. And that was horrific because it was so loud. I couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't film anything because they were right there. <clears throat> it was a bloody nightmare. So I'm just going to do my hair and get on with it. I need the window open because I'm absolutely boiling. Um, and we're just going to... We're gonna bear with. I look a little bit crazy. My hair is like very, very curled because I've kind of just left it to do its thing for a minute. But I thought this was the perfect time to quickly sort all of my stuff out that I want to do for my first video. So I'm thinking the first one is gonna be, I don't know. I, I've got a few ideas, but it's really hard at this time of year because like no one can really go anywhere, but we can. And like Christmas is coming up, but then no one wants to buy new outfits. It's just a weird, like weird time. Okay, dressed. I'm wearing this gigantic oversized jumper from H&M, which I actually got because I thought it was really cute to just chuck on with like jeans and stuff and chunky boots. So I've got this just with jeans and obviously when I film you only really see the top half of me anyway, so I feel like this is kind of a good, like, a good one. <laughs> I don't know. But the only thing is with roll necks, they make me look like I've got way, like, rounder face. I don't know if this happens to anyone else, but it makes my face look really round. I don't know why. 
I'm not your friend or anything. That's stuck in my head. Right, I've got to do some cutaways now and the builders can see me. So can the entire flat blocks around me because obviously I've got my lights on. So I don't know how I'm going to do this without flashing everyone. I might just have to go in and bear it. I've flashed them a million times before. They've, they've seen it all. They're just going to have to see it all again. <laughs> Video two is a go. I've got the Christmas jumper on. We're ready to do this. I'm just quickly browsing through comments on some of my latest videos. Not that I get tons of comments. I only ever get like 10, but I always reply because I just, I don't know, I like replying. So, right, I've done two videos. I've put the living room slightly back to normal and I'm gonna make myself some avocado toast because I was considering ordering a salad from Prep because I really like their salads. I like that there's loads of like variety in each little salad box and stuff. And they do a really good falafel one as well if you haven't tried it. However, you're not going to stand up, are you? However, I quickly realised it was probably better if I just cook myself something. Or like make myself something. Because that's a lot less lazy. And also, saves me some money. And also, use up the avocados that are going on. So, there's that too. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug my toaster in. You can't even see me. <laughs> but I'm going to plug my toaster in and just pop some toast on. I've actually just filmed a little reel for a flower company, which I'm really excited about. They actually sent me two bouquets, which is really lovely, so I need to find a home for the other one. One of them is currently there, but it's really bright, so you can't actually see it. But um, I'm gonna put them up in a minute. I'm just opening some packages first. Okay, this is what I've got. So I'm gonna show you on the table, but I'm gonna just tilt the camera down because it's way easier. Than this is parcel number one. So in here, we've got a little trinket dish, which is really cute. It's just like a little star for Christmas. I'm actually gonna put this over here as like part of my centerpiece thing. So it just looks sweet. Then we've got a little necklace, which is really cute, like a little gold, gold number. We've got a piece of fabric, which is where I'm confused because this is literally just a piece of fabric. I, th I feel like this is for something, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, there's a little lip balm, which is like a little tree stocking thing. We've got some candy kittens, which are my favorite little sweets. These are the wild strawberry. And then we've got this from Holler and Glow, which is a Jasper Crystal inspired soap, which is very, very cute. That would be the perfect like stocking filler gift. Then we've got some, oh my goodness, this is perfect. A Fizz Summer Set. A fizz shimmer set, sorry. So this is raspberry peach or strawberry shimmer that you add to drinks, I believe. Yeah, so you personalize your fizz. So you can put these in Prosecco and it makes it taste different and makes it like colored, I'm pretty sure, like sparkly. And then we've also got this, which is Tabitha Webb color. So this is an odor toilet. Right, then the other parcel we've got is this one. Okay, this is from Superdrug as well. So this makes sense. Thank you for taking part. Okay, right, perfect. So this is everything to create a Christmas centerpiece in the upcoming virtual workshop. We've included a selection of Superdrug stocking fillers um which they'll be showing you how to wrap sustainably and then i'm going on a zoom call with them to create a christmas centerpiece which is so exciting because i think it will look really cute on my kitchen island so in here we've got some white dried herby flowery what are these called like grasses and whatever um we've got some pampas grass love that can't ever get enough pampas grass there's also some light pink which is so cute it's all stuck in the bits <laughs> Oh no, come out, please, come out. There we go. So there's like some little peachy colored ones. Actually, they're not peach, they're like lilac. And then I'm guessing this is a little vase or something. Oh, what is this? This is like a little jar with some something in it and wire. I feel like this will all make sense when I do the class, but very excited for that because it will go really well with the color scheme of my house. And where it's dried, it'll obviously last quite a while as well. So we'll pop that all back in there and then keep that to one side for in a couple of days time, which will be in another Vlogmas. So good. Now for flowers. This is what they look like, but I'm really worried because I don't have a vase that I think will be big enough. Like I don't have big vases in my house, so I don't really know what to do because I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I don't know what to do. I need to order a bigger vase. Maybe that'll be something I put on my Christmas list, like a big, chunky vase. 
I'm thinking for now to just put them in a watering can, which I know sounds really silly, but it's all I've actually got. Oh, I might try this ribbon around the other vase. I'll do that in a second, because I haven't got any ribbon around it. I want to get tartan around it, but I don't have any more tartan ribbon yet. All my presents are currently wrapped in it, so I need to wait for that to turn up in a couple of days' time. I basically ordered loads on Amazon for my present, and it's so cute. I'm definitely going to order loads and loads more for next year, because it's just so nice. So I think I've ordered now, like, 40 metres or something ridiculous, but I just love it. I love having, like, really nicely wrapped presents under the tree, because I think... When you give a gift that's like really nicely wrapped, it's just a little bit special. Like it's nice to have like a really beautiful wrapped present. But then saying that, I equally would love a present if it was wrapped really badly. <laughs> because I just think it's nice because it's like the thought that counts. Like I love presents that are meaningful. And like if I know that that person has put so much effort into thinking about like what they're giving me and stuff, it just means so much more. Oh god. Ooh, flipping it. This is going to go everywhere. Oh my god, right. I'm so bad at flower arranging, like I wish I was good at it, but I'm not. My mum actually, funnily enough, um, when my sister got married, my mum actually did a floristry course and she did this my sister's flowers for her wedding, which I think is really cute. So they were a bit more personal because obviously they were made by my mum. Which is very, very cute and a very lovely touch and I'm really hoping she uses those floristry scissors at my wedding. Mother, if you're watching this, please note, you need to get those floristry scissors back out again. Not that I'm getting married anytime soon, guys, please don't. I think I am, but yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a lot. This is a very green bouquet, I really like it. There's a lot of like greenery in it, as well as the white flowers, which is beautiful. I'm a sucker for a white bouquet. Like I love sunflowers, they're my absolute favorite flower, but I'm also a sucker for like just white bouquets with the greenery, because it's just such my color scheme of things future husband if you ever go back and watch this right i'm thinking do i pop it on here or do i put it somewhere else i don't really know where to put it maybe down here or is that a bit weird is it a bit weird tough flowers there i don't know it looks kind of cute mm. i feel like it needs to be on the table doesn't it but Maybe we get rid of the candles and we put it on the table and keep the pine cones. It's just annoying because it's in a bloody watering can, so it looks a bit odd. It needs to be in a vase and then I think it would look better, but I just don't have a vase. No, that looks so weird. I don't know where to put them. Right, I've popped them on the other side of the bed. This is so annoying. When I walk around my house, because of the spotlights, it goes like really bad lighting all the time. Apologies, guys. But I've popped them on this side of the bed and I think it looks really cute. Look, how cute does this look? So I've got my little neon candle, which is my favorite. This is actually the scent to de-stress one, which smells incredible. And then obviously my flowers, lovely. And then it just looks all nice and cream in this corner because you've got the cream um rug <laughs> ignore the oil diffuser i've just booted down there for a minute and then you've got the cream sofa here which is obviously just like a bit disheveled but this is basically like my little cozy corner um oh, i was looking for them earlier but this is like my cozy corner now so it's just in the corner of the living room because this is a sofa bed that i haven't yet got rid of so i tried to make it look really cute and cozy um so it's a bit more inviting to sit on and read a book or something it's also a really good place to watch the sunset because the sunset's over there